with Mariah Shelley Village and today I'm shooting this video to share a mini black history bio. I've been asked to shoot some teaching videos um, on some lesser known African Americans or persons of African descent and so without further ado here's the first teaching video. Um, it is going to be called Who is Gordon Parks? Gordon Parks was born November 30th, 1912 in Kansas, and he passed away March 7th, 2006 in New York City. He was an author, a filmmaker, and he is also, or he was, excuse me, also a photographer. He became a prolific photojournalist between 1940s, 1970s was probably like um, the majority of his career and definitely the height of it. Um, he focuses on civil rights, poverty, African American lifestyle, and gla glamour, believe it or not. He has lots of firsts. I'm going to give you three in this video and you're more than welcome to look up more. Um, he is the first pioneer among black filmmakers. He's also the first African American to produce and direct major motion pictures. And he is also the first black photographer at Life in Vogue magazine. So there are going to be um, some key terms that you'll want to study or look up in more depth to learn more about Parks and his work. I'm going to give you three in this video. The first is called black exploitation, and I'll put that word up um, on the video so you can spell it for yourself. Um, there's also going to be his federal government project. During the FDR administration, he was hired by Farm, the Farm Services Administration um, to take pictures of African American, excuse me, of American lives in the wake and aftermath of the Great Depression and also you're going to want to look up his photographic essays that he completed for Life magazine. I would definitely say the three of those um, is kind of what he's known for so you'll want to look more into that to learn more about Park's work um, in an in-depth way. Um, some themes that you'll want to study in his photography would be poverty, discrimination, um, African American lifestyle. You're also going to want to look at American society and civil rights. Um, when you look up his bio and get to learn more about who he was as a person, you'll definitely see that his personal experiences um, shows up or has a presence in his professional work, particularly his pictures. What he shoots, why he shoots them, how he shoots it. So that is definitely something that I would incorporate into a lesson if I was teaching students or if you are a student, I'd be asking that question. How does his personal experience um, shape his work? Some literary and media works that you'll want to look more into um, is his poem called Kansas Land. And when you um, read Kansas Land, it'll be a good, good time to pause and ask students, how does your place of origin affect you and affect your work? So with Parks being from Kansas, you will definitely hear how he feels about Kansas, um, in in that in that poem, I'll link the poem in the description box. Um, so I believe I found a copy of it in my research. Um, the second literary re resource that I want to share is the Learning Tree, which is a novel by Parks. It's very very good. If you haven't read it, I would read it. It also ended up being a movie later on, and I will link that in the description box as well. Um, Okay, so the other piece that you're going to want to study is called American Gothic. It is a piece that a woman named Ella Watson posed for. It's probably the piece that Parks is most um, known. I'll go ahead and put an image of it here in the video. So some questions that you'll want to ask students in viewing the piece. What do... Um, you see, obviously, what choices are made um, by the photographer himself and what are or what 
were the people's reaction um, to this piece. Of course, at the time that this um, photo was shot, America was very black and white. And so the answer to the people's reaction really just depended on um, the person being black or white. So if it was um, a black person, then obviously they are going to say it's a good picture that reveals the discrimination that they were experiencing. And then a white person would probably say they didn't appreciate America being portrayed um, as racist or as biased. Okay? So in still looking at this picture, what do we see? You know, there's a tired black woman. She's holding a mop and a broom, which suggests that she's a cleaning lady or a janitor of some sort. Um, there's a picture of the American flag. That's a conversation piece right there. Why the flag? What is Parks trying to say? Okay, I'm going to take the picture off now. Parks once said he uses his camera as a weapon to reveal a life that white America rarely saw or understood. Um, so you can definitely ask, how did he do that with Ella Watson? How can you do this if you're teaching students? How can you use whatever your gift or your craft is as a weapon to serve your community or to protect your community even better? Okay, I am going to um, do a, I'm going to post, excuse me, a few pictures up here, some famous shots by Gordon Parks. As you study his photography, become familiar with what techniques he employs and what makes his work unique. And decide if you notice any signatures in his work. Okay, so wrap up. Um, I thought it was interesting. I always look for something modern um, about the author's work or about a historical event. Um, if I can, like what presence does it have in the modern world? And I found it interesting that Kendrick Lamar, his video called Element, he uses some of Park's photographs. So that's definitely something um, you can share with students if you're okay with that artist and that song. And after you study Gordon Parks, play that video and see if they were able to spot some of Parks' work in Lamar's video. Um, I will also share some of the resources that I was able to find as I did my own research on Parks. I know the state of Kansas has some material with him being a native of Kansas State. Um, the High Museum in Atlanta, Georgia had a few of his pieces and so they had some teaching material for students um, as well and so I will do my best to link that. Um, you can go to my blog. I will link that as well. I have a bio page ready to download for Gordon Parks. And also, Our History Revealed Part 2 is coming out soon, and Gordon Parks is studied and mentioned in that curriculum. Okay, I hope you had a fun time learning about Gordon Parks. I hope you enjoyed learning about Gordon Parks. If you know anything about him that I did not share and you would like to share with me, put it in the description box. If you learned something in this video, please like, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video. Until next time, shalom.